Oh, I know, it's horrible. Peanut, you're gonna feel so much better after you're nice and clean. <laughs> no. Pretty Caroline. Oh, 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 oh. Smelly Belly TV. We have a new baby ferret, you guys. He's so cute. Hit the thumbs up if you guys like ferrets or if you have ever had a ferret or even if you have a pet. Hit that thumbs up. I don't know why I said it like <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're giving the ferret a bath. Rory is here. Bath. Rory, say hi. <laughs> if you are new to ferrets, um, you can't really tell what their gender is until they're like six months. And he's only two months. And he's only two months, so he or she. we are going to be guessing what it is, and then six months from now, eh, well, it'd be four months from now. We're gonna give you guys the update, and we're gonna find out. So we've only had Peanut for a couple days, um, but we didn't vlog like the actual whole like picking him up from the store and doing all that stuff. But I did get some like the cutest Snapchats of him. So I have that saved and we're gonna show you guys. Um, but before we do that, I also wanna remind everyone about the mail competition that we have going on. We will be opening up your mail and our videos at the end of our videos, not all of them, some of them, but it has to be like the wackiest, funnest, most just interesting looking mail. So decorate your packages, decorate your envelopes, stickers, whatever. It doesn't have to be like fancy, just whatever catches our eyes, what we're gonna open. We opened up a bunch in our disgusting pie challenge video, so I'll put a card. Maybe you gotta, maybe we read your mail there. Um, but yeah, so we'll probably open up a couple things at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But here is a little Peanut. Before we even knew, we named him Peanut. I don't care. He smells like pee. He needs a bath. <laughs> We're not gonna know Peanut's gender, like Jesse said, for a few more months. And we are gonna do like a big gender reveal, but we're gonna document our predictions now and see if we got them right. So, let me get a good look at Peanut. Butter, we named her, we, we keep saying him, but we don't really know for sure. We're just used to saying him because the other ferrets are boys. But we did name him Peanut Butter, Peanut for short. So, let me get a good look at Peanut, and I'm gonna give my guess. Hmm, he's rather small, and I heard that the females stay smaller, but he or she is also only two months old. So that could be a reason why he or she is small as well. Hmm, my guess is <laughs> Peanut is a boy. That's really what I think. What are you doing? You're snuggling with your mama. <laughs> You know him the best, so what do you think? I think it's a boy. You think it's gonna be a boy too? Mm-hmm. So I went ahead and purchased some gender reveal fireworks for Peanut. <laughs> and I think I could throw away this one because Peanut is gonna be a girl. You think so? Yep. Final answer? Final answer. What makes you think that she's a girl? Just her vibe. Her vibe? Yeah. She gives off that girl vibe? Mm-hmm, so we're gonna have to make sure we get you know who fixed. The other fair? Fair? Yeah, they are fixed. They are fixed. They are fixed. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, they are fixed. Yeah. Oh, the other day I asked you if they were fixed and you said no. I said I don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, they came fixed. I Remember thought they I would. Us that? Yeah, I thought okay. they would. Okay. All right. So, I do think it's a girl. I think that Bear and her 
Peanut have a special bond too. Yeah, Bear does love her or him. Him. I think you're a boy. Come here, let me see. Oh yeah, gosh, a boy. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Thank you. <laughs> so, what's your prediction? I predict that Peanut is a boy. Oh, so so far, you're the odd one out. You can't just go into this all willy nilly. Can't be getting all willy nilly up in here. Uh, we have to show Peanut an example of what a bath looks like. And Enzo is gonna be our model. Yeah, he's gonna be the model because Benny is a great bath taker. He, he is. Loves his baths. He listens, he's calm. Um, he doesn't try to jump out of the sink. He doesn't like diesel, like tries to hide in the corner. He doesn't do that. And so he's gonna be a perfect role model to show Peanut exactly how to act while he's in the bath. Are you ready, Enzo? Are you ready to do this? You have your owner. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. oh. Step one, check temperature. I just feel a little hot. We gotta cool that down a little bit. Step two, towel check. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Check him out. Peanut. You interrupted our steps. Peanut, go back in there. Step three, shampoo. Yeah. Ah. Shampoo. Boom. Step four, capture the dog. All right, get him, Ada. Get him. Here we go. Step five, the cutest puppy you've ever seen getting a bath. Let's go. Here we go. Peanut, it's very important that you observe everything that Enzo does during bath time. Peanut, pay attention. Listen. You have to observe everything Enzo does and repeat those steps, okay? All right, Benny, you ready? You ready? You're such a good puppy. Yes, you're such a good boy. Here we go. Don't we shake. Go. Oh, don't shake yet. Don't shake. Peanut, don't. Peanut, ignore that. Peanut, you see Enzo? Do not do that like <laughs> Enzo does. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so our shampoo that we have for our dog smells really good. It's called uh, Awapua. I don't even know how to say that. And coconut. I think it's. Uh, what is it? The like Awapua. Awapua. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Yeah, either. I think it's like the flower smell or something, the flower scent. Fun fact about me and Ada, we are terrible readers. Yeah, <laughs> we are really bad at reading. And we usually get whitening shampoo for our dogs because they have white fur. So this is whitening. And it smells really, really good. All right, Benny did a good job. It's time for him to come on out. We're gonna drain the water and get them all dried off. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, you do not like those baths, dude. Well, he looks like a little rat, He's too. still got some extra suds in his beard. <laughs> there you go, bud. Look at this cuteness. Look at this cuteness. <sighs> He's so adorable. Look, Diesel's jealous. Actually, Diesel's nervous that he's up next, but he's not up next. Diesel does not like bath time. He's an example of the worst dog to try to give a bath. Meanwhile, Peanut is not taking notes anymore. He'd rather just chew on his tube. Peanut. 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 Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. And no, we did not buy this nice, baby pack and play for Peanut. Family had visited and they had a little baby so we could have got the pack and play for her, but then they couldn't even fit in the car, so now we just have a pack and play. All right, all right. Benny's all done. done. Here you go, buddy. Go run it off. <laughs> okay, so up next is Peanut, and yes, we do know you're not supposed to give your favorites baths that often, but we, we had just got him and we want him to smell all nice and fresh. So, uh, Peanut has a very special shampoo that's just made for ferrets. So, the product that we use is uh, called Ferret Sheen 2-in-1 Deodorizing Shampoo. And it has things to help them with their skin because they can get uh, irritated, dry skin. So, this helps with that. Are you ready, Peanut? You ready to go in? Go ahead, bud. Oh, he gets a little ball too? Just in case he gets freaked out. Peanut has decided he'd rather just drink the water and not really worry about what's going on. Just chilling, drinking the water. Peanut! Peanut, what do you think? Oh, he's like slipping. <laughs> he looks so giant. We found a bug. There was a bug on Peanut. So this is our first time giving him a bath. Um, so since he's since we've purchased him from the pet store, he's so. actually a lot more calm than Bear and Yeti. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, Yeti and Bear freak out for bath time. 
What do you think, Peanut? Where are you gonna go? Dude, you can't go down the drain. That's not a good idea okay. for you. Let's get this over with fast. Okay. Remember, <laughs> just so like Enzo. Cute. Look at him. Yeah, you gotta do just like Enzo. You gotta be a good boy. I think he's doing good so far. Oh, look at him. He's squirmy, though. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. I know. It's horrible. Peanut, you're gonna feel so much better after you're nice and clean. <laughs> no. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stunner. She was a winner, started working at the dime. Oh, 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 serves you some remind. To count your blessings, cause it's telling fills, telling fills. Put you down and leave you dead. Okay. All right, Peanut's all done. We're gonna dry him off. <laughs> he did pretty good for his first bath. Good job, Peanut. You're the best. You're the best. Is he shivering or is he doing yeah, all right? He's, cold. he's a little cold. It's yeah, okay. we'll get him wrapped up in the towel, get him nice and warm. Because ferrets, they love to like snuggle in towels, blankets, anything that's cuddly. And they like to just like dig around and burrow their heads in everything. Don't you, Peanut? You do, don't you? Oh, <laughs> he's so sweet. He's literally trying to like make himself like the most comfortable he can on Ada. <laughs> But he can't figure it out. He hasn't quite figured out like where the comfy warm spot is. Is he over here? Yes. It says over by my armpit. <laughs> oh, he's down in the armpit? Yes. Peanut, where are you going? Where are you going, Peanut? <laughs> he's like, man, I want to get dry. I'm tired of this. You guys stink for giving me a bath. <laughs> he's, he's trying to like, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to like warm up or something. I don't know. Peanut, do you want more towel rubs or are you good? There you go, get under that towel. It'll be nice and warm for you. <laughs> so the cool thing about ferrets is like, they're actually like natural swimmers. Like, cause you know, when they like lived in the wild and stuff, they're, they like have to learn how to swim. So they like have an instinctual thing that just kicks in and uh, they know how to swim. But that's why they get so crazy in baths because they're just like, I need to swim out of this. Yeah, I wanna I get, get out, this. I wanna get out. <laughs> What is this, fire and story time with Peanut? <laughs> so we're up, we're by the fire, we're hanging out, trying to get Peanut warmed up because he's cooled down. And uh, he just decided to come hang out by the fire. I think Benny wants to join in. He's still he's still a little wet. You want to come up here, bud? Come on. There you go. <laughs> Lay down. It's like Enzo's favorite spot. That's a good boy. Yes, you're such a good doggy. So if I had to say what animals are my favorite that we have, I would probably say it's the ferrets because they're just so hilarious. They're a little like, they have a distinctive smell to them. But other than that, like they're just the most hilarious thing. And Ada did an amazing job by teaching them how to poop on the puppy pads. So like, you know, it's really easy cleanup for the most part, right? What would you say? Pretty much. All right, Except so do you have a favorite? Um, not really, I like all of our animals. You like all of our animals, No, no favorite? No? I think they'll put you as a favorite. You've got, come on, it's the ferrets, I know it. No, I actually, because I, I, I love the dogs and I love Murray too. You love Murray too? Murray is, he's one of my other favorites. So if I had to rank him, it'd probably be, well, the ferrets for fun and the dogs for like, I don't know, they give good cuddles, like they're cuddlers. So I would say that Enzo and Diesel are next. Um, except for Diesel, I don't know, he's kind of a grumpy cuddler. Like you'll snuggle with him, and then let, let's say you like, like let's say he's laying down by your feet, right? And you like bump him the wrong way with your foot. He growls at you. He lets you know he's there. He's he's totally an alpha male puppy. But Enzo on the other hand, he is Tara's shadow. So he follows Tara everywhere throughout the house. And he always gets up on bed with her. So every night Tara like gets into bed before I do because I'm kind of like, I like to stay up late at night. It's really bad. I'm like a vampire. Enzo will be on the ground and he'll be like begging to get up onto Tara's bed. And so I go up and I grab him and I make sure he's got a little blanket laid out. And then he snuggles with Tara all night. Is he licking himself? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. He's trying to clean himself up. He kind of looks like he would be related to a possum. Aren't ferrets related to possums? I don't know, except possums are kind of like gross. I know, but like they have the same style mouth and teeth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they do. I think they might have like evolved from possums. 
Well, they're just generally related. Right, they have like similar DNA, similar traits. Let's see here, I'm gonna find out. All right, I'm embarrassed, I was way off. Uh, they're not related at all. Yeah, they're not related at all, but they are just like, they're part of different like families, like of subspecies. But they look like it. Yeah, they kind of look like they could possibly be like, you know, like the longer snout that they have? Mm -hmm. And uh, like the sharp teeth, except for like, I think ferrets are way more cute than possums, just in my opinion. But I mean, possums can be cute, like the baby possums. Yeah, baby possums, have you ever seen those? then they get big and they're like, yeah, yeah, it's true. We had a problem where uh, possums, remember when they were going into the chicken coop eating the eggs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had, um, we, we would leave the chicken coop open and before it, they would come before I put the chickens away. It would be like, I don't know, 6.30, 7 o'clock at night and they were baby possums. And they literally play dead, you guys. Like, you know how they... You know how the thing goes around, the saying that goes around that um, it's called play possum? It's basically play dead. That's exactly what possums do. The minute that they see you, like, this possum would just be like... All right, so we need an update. How is Yeti doing with Peanut? With Peanut? Yeah. Fine now. Yeah. Because what it said to do was, like, I searched up, um, like, what to do if your ferret, like goes defensive to one of your newer ferrets. Uh -huh. It says to just grab them by the scruff because like that's what you're not supposed to do. It's kind of like a discipline to them. Uh -huh. So I grabbed them by the scruff and I told him no. And I was like, no, that's bad. Yeah. And then he hasn't messed up peanut at all, except just like play fighting. And right, and it doesn't hurt them when you grab them by the scruff? It doesn't hurt them, it just doesn't feel good. You know, yeah. it's not like the most pleasing like feeling, you know. I'm pretty sure we officially wore peanut out. What, what if we uh, go and put him upstairs and go put him to bed? Okay. Sounds good. All right, here's his nighttime routine. We know what Enzo's nighttime routine is. Getting up on the couch where you're not supposed to be. <laughs> so, uh, Peanut's bedtime routine is really pretty simple. All we gotta do is just put him in his bed. <laughs> this is not his bed. <laughs> this is not his bed, but he's gonna go and chill in there for a little while. There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> I wonder if he'd like the little heating pad for right now, because he's a bit... He's still, like, cold. Such a good boy. Mm. Such a good boy, Peanut. I may be saying such a good girl soon, I don't know. I keep, like, naturally thinking that it's a boy. All right, it's time to go back into the pantry, and we're going to find your guys' mail. We keep it all back here, and we're going to pick out one that looks pretty special to us. So here it all is, you guys. This is all the mail right here. It's all back here by my food rations. <laughs> yeah, I'm cheesy like that. Okay, so let's see. Which one do you like, Ada? I kind of like... What about that one with the bag right there like that has the black stripes on oh, it? Oh, this? Yeah, what do you think about that one? Yeah, sure. What Society it? socks? There must be socks in there. So. Okay, so if this is something different other than fan mail, we'll just open it up and see if it is a fan mail, but I never heard of Society socks here before. Yeah. Okay, so that one happened to be um, a company called Society Socks. So I guess they, I'm not exactly sure what they do, uh, but it says something about um, local charity and donations. So that's kind of cool. All right, we're going back into the pantry. What do we got here? Let's get... This one. All right, we're going for the sheep box. Okay, it's time to find out what's inside this box. Ada, get a knife. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna cut it on the side here. Yeah? Oh, this is strong. I think this is all made out of tape or something. Oh no, it's actually a fabric. Yeah, let me help you out. All right, I think we got it open. Let's see what's inside of here. All right, so here's the reveal. We got some, we got some stuff. It looks like some stuff for Rory. That was really nice. Oh, this is cute. That's really cool. Oh, what is this? 2021. Oh, it's a journal and a, a calendar. That's awesome. With a pen. Yeah. That's so, cool. Putty. Very nice. Pencil pouch. So we're gonna get to the important thing, and that's the letter. So Ada, go ahead. Let's let's see. You guys what. are my favorite YouTuber. I watch, I've watched you since the beginning, and I miss you. Love you. I missed a video. I missed well, your video. You missed a video? 
Oh man. Apparently, they've been watching all the videos and they missed one. So. That's okay. We'll, we'll let we'll let them go. From Jackson. From Jackson. All right. Thank you so much, Jackson. We appreciate the mail. You have very cute dogs. You have very cute dogs. Everybody's gonna get to see your dogs right now. Here they are. Those are Jackson's dogs. Pretty cool. We got uh, Gracie and Pearl. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Before we go, we're gonna say our favorite parts of the day. My favorite part of the day was definitely giving Peanut a bath. And what was your favorite part of the day? I don't know. It was a good day. It was a good day. Uh, Tara and Jayla, well, Rory's sleeping, and Tara and Jayla had to go run some errands, so you guys are only gonna get our favorite part of the day, but you guys know that's the only one that really matters. I mean, who cares about them? I mean, yeah, come on, right. we're the best. All right, thank you guys so much, and remember to do one thing. Eat your pickles, kids. Bye.